Welcome back to Destroyer 1320. Today I want to go over all those little performance page gauges and see what they do. Do they do anything? Are they good? Should we trust them? Should we not? I'd like to see your opinion. Stay tuned. Hey everyone. Just wanted to let you know there's a giveaway in this video. If you want this bad boy, it's customized by E. That's me. Did a little customization on this here Red Eye Challenger. It's brand new. Just did some customization to it, and I am willing to give it away to one of you lucky fans. So, what I'm looking for is in one of my videos, don't know which one, I put something kind of funny in there, and there's something that I'm looking for in a guest. Uh, I'm going to give you guys two weeks to figure out what it is that... Uh, I thought was probably one of the funniest things I've done in a video to this point and I want you to put your guess down below. Now the more people that guess it right, those people, I'll announce what the what the right answer is, but those people will have their name put in a hat and I'll use a random name generator to pick the winner and then I'll send this bad boy to you free of charge. Just as appreciation for you guys. Now I'm really right now working on trying to hit a thousand subscribers it's very hard during this time not being able to go to the drag strip or car shows or anything but if you guys can help me hit 1,000 subscribers it's gonna mean the world to me but uh, this is a start by giving this away there'll be more to come I'm sure uh, depending on the success of this giveaway thank you guys so first things first let's find that little page we're looking for let's go to performance controls which I already put mine down here and if you look up here at the top, it says Perf Pages. Click that. Please wait. Okay. All right, let's let it load. Ooh, we're getting somewhere now. All right, so we're on our gauges page. Let's go ahead and hit G Force. All right. We're gonna look at this thing and figure it out. Looks like there's acceleration here. It goes zero all the way up to 1.5. Same with braking, left and right. Um, I'm in a 1320, so left and right, yeah, we're probably not gonna do that one. But we could do some braking and we'll do some acceleration for sure. Let's get into it. I don't know, 
I think all these things are uh, pretty much useless to me. I don't know. Let me know your opinion. I think this thing's an absolute joke. Let's at least listen to it. She does sound good. So the only gauges that I've learned to trust on this thing, we did one on this range meter. It doesn't do anything. I trust the uh, thermometer gauge uh, when the car's not sitting outside. Once you're rolling along, it actually does pretty good. Uh, obviously the mileage I trust, but stop shaking here. All right, I trust the tire gauge. I've tested that. Zero to 60, I tested against my uh, time slips at the track and that is verifiable per my time slip. So I do trust that one. Fuel economy, yeah, it doesn't, I don't think that's all what it's cracked up to be. Depends on how you're driving. No messages. Speedometer, let's go to some more performance here. Vehicle info, performance. Okay, so zero to 100, that works. Eighth mile, quarter mile. And the quarter mile does line up with my quarter mile since I've not been able to race in anything but uh, 89 degree weather. Uh, hopefully that'll improve uh, as we head into fall. Braking I've not done. Current G-forces. Now I, I should have tried that because the G-force gauge we just looked at didn't seem to do a darn thing. Uh, peak G-forces, that matches what the meter showed. It showed uh, 1.46 forward, 0.94, which I probably just did. So, when I hit the brakes, I don't do laps. Uh, 119, that must have been my trap speed at the track. But uh, those are the only gauges I would actually trust. The ones on the performance pages over here, I gotta say, I'm, I'm not impressed with, with these gauges at all when you hit that button. It's not, I don't know, I don't think it's what it's all cracked up to be. Uh, launch control. Uh, I trust that gauge, but it works one every four times that you try to use it. I don't know if anybody's had any better luck than me, but uh, I just find it to be a little gimmicky. Uh, line lock, yeah, works most of the time, but uh, you have to make sure that you keep your foot on the brake and hold the OK before you let your foot off the brake for about a second. Otherwise, for me, it seems to let go. But um, yeah, as far as gauges are concerned and timers, I, I don't know. A lot of the stuff seems gimmicky to me. I'm not really impressed at all with it. Uh, I don't know. I guess I trust it for engine type stuff as far as PSI and, and that type of thing. But even the engine, di engine dyno is a little wonky. Um, I don't know. I'd be interested to hear what you guys have to say in regards to this. So uh, be sure to leave comments below. Hey, thanks for watching this video. I appreciate you guys so much. Please hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. Uh, the only way I can do it is with your support. Uh, I thank everybody who leaves their comments. Please, let's, uh, let's hit that 1K mark and see where we can go from there. The tracks will be opening up here in June, unfortunately, for uh, Arizona, but we're going to get back at it. We're going to do some car shows. I want to do some racing. We're going to get back in this thing since it's been put on hold due to all the crud. But I really appreciate you guys. Thanks for tuning in.